Hi, my name is Ravi El Malik. I'm the Arabic uh, Merging Magnet School teacher. Uh, actually, the main reason I, I attend, I, I'm attending this program is to create some digital uh, uh, assignment for the kids and digital uh, games and apps. Um, Arabic is a very unique language, but we don't have any resources whatsoever. Uh, there is some resources, but for native speakers as Arabic, uh, if you go to the Arabic countries, maybe you find some digital learning activities. But here, because the kids are non-native and they're uh, speaking the language for the first time, they need a specific criteria where you simplify everything and you create everything uh, in a way that uh, meet their interest and their understanding. So that's why I'm trying to uh, create this. My past technology leadership uh, skills were very limited. I'm a teacher who plays Arabic songs on the smart board for the students using online timers, watching Arabic movies, we kind of uh, don't have a lot of resources, but we have some uh, fantastic uh, administrators. They give us like um, um, t uh, some trainings for smart board and the smart tables. And but the old uh, all the activities there are in English. All the games, the apps, the, the assessment system, everything there is created in English. So in Arabic, there is zero activities. So for me, just we're watching some YouTube videos and I'm using the timer to set like uh, for my kids to learn how to finish their activities on time. My... Uh, uh, actually, in, in, uh, in my past also, I downloaded worksheets, we created worksheets, uh, I wrote some lesson plans, uh, fill in some assessment sheets that are already like, uh, uh, made. Uh, I did my attendance, communicate through emails, use my Word and my Excel to do my uh, assessment. I uh, I use e-learning, professional development classes online, but some of this is all in English, so it's not actually in the target language because the teacher can use English in her work, but not the students. So it was easier for me to find things that I can use uh, technology in English, but I'm not uh, yet there in using technology in Arabic. Uh, one of the things that this little uh, slide show, uh, the background is the Arabic alphabets. Uh, nice to know. And my present technology leadership uh, skills are I'm using a smart table, smart board in the classroom to teach Arabic language, using Google Exchange to download so some games, created some simple games like sorting for mass and um, some uh, like uh, shape games and very very simple stuff that does not even have like some sounds in it. I actually also created brown bear brown bear in Arabic in the keynote program. Uh, I downloaded letter games and apps for, for iPads for the kids in the classroom and um, that is actually uh, the most technology I do for now. Uh, I'm trying also to um, like make audio books for the kids while I like read the books and just record them and uh, have the kids listen to them as their listening uh, activity. Uh, my technology leadership goals are very huge and big. I would like to create games and apps in Arabic. I would like to create variety of books, audio, and just books for them to read. I would like to design assessments for all the grade levels. But uh, now we have uh, pre-KK and first grade in our school. We don't have any system, any assessment system. We kind of rely on creating our little assessment, just translating how the English assessment works and translate that. In a, it's a lot of work 
for the teachers to do but uh, in the future if we created the system that like uh, electronic system that create assessment or generate uh, results and how the kids uh, where the kids at at the beginning at the middle at the end of school year uh, that will be very helpful uh, uh, like you can create letter assessment or math assessment or science assessment or just um, create things for the kids to play and learn their language my final goal uh, my big goal my gigantic goal is to create electronic publishing company to provide this huge and empty market of Arabic language materials. There is no material, there is zero materials out there in the market targeting uh, kids uh, who are learning Arabic as a foreign language. There is some material that's uh, targeting kids with uh, native language speakers, but for foreign language speakers, there is none. And I'm struggling now deeply to just create my own things and getting everything together and ready. So uh, I am I am struggling myself with technology. Yes, now, but this is my first PowerPoint ever. So I am here. I did something, and I am moving up, moving me slowly but surely. Thank you, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.